I got this guy in Dell inverter. I think that's how you say it. Overall, I've been pretty impressed with how it works for being only like 50 bucks. But there have been some things that um, I kind of wanted to work on. The first thing that I wanted to work on was this fan. It doesn't really ever kick over because the inverter has to be either hotter than 40 degrees Celsius or be drawing 120 watts. So if you're running it at something under 120 watts, it will slowly heat up and maybe stay at like 39 Celsius and the fan will never turn over, but the thing will get really hot. The second thing I wanna work on is it has grounding pins on it, but these grounding pins don't connect to anything. I'm gonna continuity test them. So these grounding pins are connected to each other, but that's basically useless. And they don't connect to the case and they don't connect to the negative or the positive, which is fine because you're not really supposed to connect your grounding to your negative or positive. But I kind of want a pin or something on the back that I can hook this inverter up to ground. So I'm gonna start dismantling this to see what I can do about those problems. The connection seems to be pretty tight in there, but I noticed that there is a screw right here, so I should probably undo that. So this top part, it, slide, it just slides out, but it's a little hard to slide out. We can see the internals. It looks relatively basic, but overall, it doesn't look super bad. No obvious cold solder joints or anything. So to push this circuit board out all the way, I'm going to have to unscrew the front. I have a toggle switch here that I'm going to be using an old toggle switch from something and then some scrap wire so I can check and see that the positive is not usually connected the positive goes through the switch before it goes to the fan but the negative is always connected to the fan so all I will have to do is solder a lead from the positive to the switch then this, the switch to the positive lead of the fan. Okay, so I've soldered everything together, and now before I go any farther, I'm going to just check to make sure that everything was actually connected. By just plugging this in and flipping the switch and seeing if the fan turns on. Fan turns on, flip it off. So good, that system seems to be working fine. So I'm just going to be using this old AC grounding wire and on the circuit board there's actually a place to connect a ground pin but it hasn't been connected to anything. I'm just going to solder the grounding wire to here and then connect the grounding wire to the back of the case.
So I'm just going to crimp this wire to this little bit. And then I'm going to get a stainless steel bolt and screw it to the back of the case like that. So my hole I drilled fits the switch nice and snugly. Looks pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and reassemble all of this to make sure everything fits. I'm just going to bend the connector right here at a right angle. Now I'm going to screw this bolt into the hole I drilled. So I'm noticing that this um, part of the case is getting in the way of the bolt head. So I'm going to have to Dremel out a little bit of the case. Okay, everything should fit snugly together now. So I'm just going to screw everything back together. Okay, it's done. Overall, I think it looks pretty great for being done all by hand. To ground it, all you would have to do is get some sort of connector, put it in the bolt, and screw this second nut down. So let's test it, make sure everything's working fine. Okay, turns on. I'll try running my light off of this. Turns my light on, the fan, switches on nicely, okay testing the ground, it looks like it's a good connection. Okay, I hope you enjoyed, I really like the way this turned out, and yeah.